Ladies and gentlemen, I am often bombarded with emails and questions about guys who have met their young lady in their hometown and shit, Filipina background, you know, or Asian background, Japanese, Korean, don't matter. And they're asking me these questions. And one of the main questions they ask me is how come they're not like what you said in your video, how the majority of the young ladies from the Asian culture should be. And I felt kind of betrayed because I know that I've said this time and time again, damn, there's got to be at least three videos that I've made so far tackling this particular subject, but I'm going to talk about it one more time so that everybody gets a fair understanding of my thought, my mentality, and what I believe the greater majority mentality of guys is when it comes to dating foreign women. Ladies and gentlemen, if your young lady is Asian of any descent or Latina from any descent, don't matter where in the world they are from, if they were raised for any period of time in a specific location, there is a high percentage chance that she is going to adopt the attitude, the behavior, the mannerisms of the young ladies that are representative of that particular culture. I.e., if you meet a Filipina in the United States, I don't care if it's California, Las Vegas, you pick a state, throw a dart at the board, you figure it out. If she's been in that place for a particular period of time, she's going to adopt the culture that is around her. There is a high percentage chance. So it's almost as if you have opted to say, you know what, even though this woman looks Asian, she looks the part, she don't play the part. Okay, one more time. She may look the part, but she may not play the part. And rightfully so. She's only adopting to the culture in which she was raised around. So if she was in California, where all we do is surf or whatever. I don't know what y'all do in California. I don't go over there. Anyways, y'all get the point. If the behavior and mannerisms of the woman in that particular area are what she's exposed to, there's a high percentage chance she going to act just like them aka adopt the western ways it's okay ladies and gentlemen i often tell y'all straight up man you'll find a young lady in your neck of the woods that just looks the part every bit is beautiful every bit of the features that you would you know expect from somebody who was full filipina or full whatever background race whatever you talk about but if she grew up there there's a high percentage chance baby girl has been tainted and that's okay this is why you have damn near everybody who has a YouTube channel telling you that you have to go overseas, right? You just have to do it. If you want to find what you're looking for, you got to go to the source, right? You got to go to the source. There is no shortcut. You might get lucky enough. And I mean, this is the super rarest of rare, rarest things that could possibly happen, but I'm not saying that it's impossible. Maybe you have a young lady that is with all due respect, fresh off the boat, right? Just got to the country. She's there. She's just trying to figure it out. She's still navigating. She's not too far uh, removed from what she knows and what she's been born into and all that shit. So she may still hold on to a lot of those traditions that you're hoping to find in a young lady. If you happen to catch her fresh off the boat, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> there might be a chance for you to hold it. But then who knows what it will be like if she's exposed to the environment for a period of time. She may be getting around the wrong type of young ladies that are filling and feeding her head with a bunch of poison that may ultimately for lack of a better word, poison the mind, right? Or poison her thought process or say, hey, this is how the girls are telling me I need to act with you, so I'm gonna act like that with you, right? It just happens. You just don't know. It's just maybe it will, maybe it won't. Unfortunately, that's the reality. But when you come to me and you ask me questions time and time again about why the young lady you met in the United States, mind you, is not acting or, you know presenting the characteristics that somebody like myself or other gentlemen may talk about when it comes to girls that we have met overseas ladies and gentlemen i didn't think that i had to try to put two and two together but i'm gonna tell you, to you one more again ladies and gentlemen if you met her in the united states high percentage chance she's gonna have the western way it is what it is it's okay right you have to understand and you have to let go she may look the part she is not gonna play the part for you she's gonna look the part she's not gonna play the part and there's a lot of people that ask, Doc, oh my God, bro, you brought your woman back to the United States. Oh my God, she gonna change on you. She gonna do this, she gonna do that. You gonna, you gonna have to deal with her. She's gonna adopt the Western way. She's gonna be like these women in the West, da-da-da. 
calm down, <laughs> right? First of all, thank you for caring and concerned and being concerned about my relationship with me and my wife. I do appreciate it. I will tell you that. I 100,000% appreciate people who share an invested interest in me and my relationship with my wife. They want us to succeed, okay? But there's a couple of things that I know for a fact that separate me and my relationship with my wife versus the relationship that a couple of these other guys may have with young ladies that they bought from overseas, all right? Number one, me and my young lady have already lived together, right? We've already lived together for a significant period of time. We know each other in and out. We know what pisses each other off. We know what makes each other happy. It's just it. And we're talking about years, right? Keep in mind, we met my last year of my undergrad. She was with me physically or with me all the time in the crib, whatever you want to call it. My whole master's, my whole doctor degree program. You can figure out how many years we live together based off of that if you know how many years those programs run. Again, not the doctor doctor program, but you know, not the pre med, but you get any type of standard doctorate program. We live together. So I know this woman, right? And I'm telling you right now, if I thought, if I had an inkling <laughs> of uh, feeling that she may switch up or do the complete switch up, on me, I would not have taken this gamble. Again, I understand. She may be rocking with me right now, maybe eight, 10 years down the line, she may do a complete switch up. By that time, if it happens, not gonna get that ROI, okay? Let's call it for what it is, man. If y'all wanna feel that concerned about the good doc, right? I appreciate it. Doc gonna make sure he get his ROI. And if you know anything about investments, you know what an ROI is. I'm gonna spell it out for you, a return on investment. Trust me when I tell you, if you want to switch up or the good dog down the line, that is perfectly fine. But please believe, good dog going to get that return on investment. So that's neither something I'm concerned or even worried about. I don't believe it's going to happen. I'm not putting that type of energy out there. I'm just saying that if that's the play, please believe we got a plan. It's just what it is, right? But like I said, I can't predict what's going to happen down the line, but there are certain things, like I said, us living together, us being together for a period of time in the Philippines before, you know, she got here. There's a lot of things that we've gone through and a lot of, you know, repetitions that we've had that in my personal mind, that trained the brain, man. There's no manipulation needed. None of that shit. We just trained the brain. And, you know, she's been exposed to this shit before. She knows more about my culture than I give a fuck to know about. So, she sees how some girls may act and how they act with their guys. And she's looking like, yo, that is probably not going to bode very well, right? She knows that shit. She knows that it's not going to play well for her to try to have that type of energy with me. Because Doc can shut that shit down when it happens. Confront me with that shit if you want to. Doc going to shut that shit down at the door. She knows this shit. And as long as your young lady is aware of who you are as an individual and the energy that you have, there's a high percentage chance you can correct bad behavior before it starts. Feel me? That way, she, she has no problem coming to me if there's something that I may have done or said that made her feel a way. She'll just talk to me about it, but it ain't going to start with arguing and just popping off at the mouth because she know better than that. Right? She doesn't play into the cultural ways of the West. Right? It just isn't how we've built what we have right and we've been locked in y'all don't understand bro we have been locked in for a long fucking time <laughs> too damn long okay <laughs> and both of us in our mind i'll tell you to you like this we both even said it out loud to each other man there's no starting over once we commit to each other it's done it's 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 done there ain't no turning back the hands of time bro we locked in and when we locked in we locked in for life Unless there is something that is completely irreversible that happens in the galaxy. When we're locked in, we're locked in for life. That's what we told each other. Like, look, shit gonna pop off. We gonna have our own set of problems. It is what it is. That's just us. But if we can't talk it out or work it out, you gonna stay your ass in that bedroom. I'm gonna stay my ass in this bedroom until we decide we won't talk to each other. But ain't nobody going nowhere, right? That's the type of energy you have to have, right? And that's the way that we've kind of worked it out amongst each other right we know what's okay and what's not okay 
And I think that once you find that in your significant other, you're good. A lot of these guys, like I said, they may meet them and may have maybe a couple of months together at, at the longest with their significant other or a couple of days with each other or, you know, off and on back and forth before you decide I want to bring her to the United States. And because you haven't lived with that person for a period of time or you don't know their attitudes, their energies, and you can't tell when they're fucking mad or pissed off or when they start to get quiet and they start to shut down and you can't read the room or read the environment when you step into your household those are the types of guys that tend to have the most amount of problems when it comes to bringing their young lady from whatever country they choose to bring her to to the united states to be with them right y'all know that i'm still here in the united states because boy got a job this is where the bulk of the majority of the money that i make is here so because i have to physically be here until we figure out a remote setting where it can't allow me to be overseas for a period of time i'm gonna stay my ass right here it's okay because I know that I can, you know, work, do the work around and get my vacations when I need to. But that's like I said, it's all temporary until you figure out your long term plan. You got to keep the money flowing until you figure out the long term game. That is pretty much the only reason you see me still here where I currently stand. And I'm okay with that, right? And shout out to all my brethren who have been able to make the move. Shout out to everybody who's retired that says, you know what, man, it's time for me to go on to live my best life overseas. Shout out to you. Shout out to my younger brethren who have found a way to, you know, um, get into the online setting so that you could travel full time. I commend you 100,000% and salute to you, all right? But at the same time, everybody's moves are gonna be different and everybody's time frames are gonna be different. You got my gentleman who retired, they, they, they worked their ass up for years in order for them to get overseas, right? Got some guys who have made that move in their 20s, early 20s, mid 20s, maybe even early 30s, right? That's okay. That's the plan. That's what worked out for them. So my plan gonna work out when the plan work out. As long as the good docs stay cooking, we're gonna be all right. But going back to the final conclusion, like I said before, ladies and gentlemen, if you met your girl here in the United States of America, chances are she gonna adopt them Western ways and it's okay. You can't change that. You can't expect her to be nothing more than what she's been exposed to. And that's okay. That's why everybody who will talk to you will tell you straight up and down, ladies and gentlemen, you can't trust with your eyes, right? Because again, they can look the part. They may not play, sorry, play the part. That's why you have to go overseas. You have to have that experience, that authentic experience. Go to the source. See what it's like to be around them in their environment so you have a full understanding of what it is that you're actually looking for and what it is that you're actually looking for or what you're looking to get out of whoever it is that you're actually trying to be with. And once you let them know, hey, this is what I'm looking for, this is what I like, hey, they can either sign up to be a part of the team, <laughs> not the team, but part of part of your team, your team, whatever team it is between the two of you, of course, not the roster, let me rephrase, but they can sign up to be a part of that. Or, you know, if you feel like that's just not working out, look, man, sky's the limit and there's a plethora of beautiful young ladies that will gladly, and I say gladly, with emphasis, willing to fulfill that role. So, y'all take that how you want it. Good Dice about to get back on this vibe and shit. I appreciate y'all locking in. Just trying to do a couple things before the trip pops off, man. Appreciate y'all for locking in, man. It's been a good deck. Y'all take care. Y'all stay blessed, man. Doc is out. Peace.